Matt Step, Dave Campbell's Texas Football here at Cougar Stadium on the campus of San Antonio Cole High School. Here with the head coach of the Cole Cougars, Coach Scott Kissy, after a uh, huge 35-32 win over previously unbeaten Randolph in uh, uh, the, the annual Military Bowl. Coach, first off, congratulations on the win. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. The kids played amazing all the way through. Uh, you know, at the end, you know, you, you can kind of feel that they, they recover the onside kick and, and – and, they're undefeated. You guys, you know, last year go 0-10, and, and, and you're, you're doing well this year. But, you know, lesser teams might have folded up and get allowed a touchdown there. But your defense at that last drive bowed their neck and uh, stopped them and, and, and held on for the win. What's that say about the culture of this team and how this team has changed from last year's team, which struggled so much? Well, the thing is this. They just – they keep coming back to work. And then they, they didn't let their situation determine their destination. And so they just came back in the offseason, worked extremely hard, extremely hard in the summertime. And now we're just paying dividends from what they did over the summer. And, and just they just refused to, to be and accept 0-10. Because we know that we're not an 0-10 team. We're just we, we putting all the parts together. All right. I thought overall this game, obviously – We'll talk about the offense here in a minute, but I thought the key tonight was your defense. You, you may, They're a really good running team, and you, your defensive line, I thought, controlled the game front to start to finish and made them one-dimensional. Was that the key coming in to make them one-dimensional and take away the running game? Because, I, I mean, they, they just couldn't run the ball in, the second, in most of the game. Yes, sir. Um, our defense played their lights out. Lights out. And, and we try to take away the run game by go, going into more man coverage, and we usually don't play a whole lot of man. But we knew that we had to load the box and put this extra guy in there, and, and our kids played extremely physical. That's really what we talked about. You know, on film, Randolph is an extremely well-coached, really physical team. And we preached from day one on Monday that we had to out-physical them if we wanted to win this game. And I think our defense did that. Offensively, um, and, and special teams too, let's talk about Taiwo. I'm, I'm, I'm going to butcher his last name. It's Atenrese or Aturase? Aturase. Taiwo Aturase. Uh, he was dynamic in special teams. He had a punt return for a touchdown. He returned another one and set you guys up in the red zone. He was all over the place, uh, really just everywhere tonight. He, he, was, he did it all. What makes him such a special player? Well, he's just so dynamic. He's our bell cow. He, you know, he does it all for us. Safety, inside receiver, running back, um, punt returner, kickoff returner. He's just the, the total package. And, and we lean on him quite a bit. Uh, he played quarterback for, him, for us last year, and he was okay to step down from that position to, to help the team out. And I'll tell you what, he's lights out. Lights out. Your, your running backs, I thought, also were big. You, you got two big running backs who, who who run physical and run tough, they're, but they're also quick. They're, they're, they're speedy when they get to the outside. How key was it to have that balance and have the defense, if they paid too much attention to Taiwo, you had two running backs who, who could make yardage and, and, and hurt them? You know, uh, um, Zach Blue, we um – we came back from an injury two weeks ago, and we know that he he, he makes our, our offense go. He gives us another dynamic, um, and we got a few of them that, that do a great job. But he gets to that, like you said, he gets to the edge and takes off and, and makes things happen in, in, in the open field, and he's not scared to put a foot in the ground and, and get north and south. He's just he's a phenomenal player. And then our quarterback is just like another running back. He played running back for us last year, and that's sort of what we're trying to get accomplished is have guys, you know, to have them have to defend 11 players. Yeah, I thought your quarterback, when things broke down, he kept plays alive with his legs and was able to sometimes turn what would have been negative plays into positive plays. That's got to be big to be set. You know, sometimes it's it's not the big plays, but it's being second and six instead of second and 15, right? No doubt, no doubt. And we lean on him, and, and, and people like, well, you, you're just giving up big plays. Well, he's making those big plays with his feet, and, and he does a phenomenal job. Sometimes it, it gets us in a bad situation, but more good than bad with with, with, uh, with Jackson Freds. All right, five, uh, now, we'll, i got two more questions for you before I let you go. First off you guys were like I said you're 0 10 last year you have a big crowd here tonight you guys are right in the thick of the playoff race what's it mean when you when you look when you looked out here and saw a, a, a sold out stadium in a, in a big game atmosphere what what does that make you and your kids it's got to just give you guys so much life and energy oh there's no doubt and even when we were 0 10 we were bringing some people out here but you put uh, the rivalry with Randolph and I'll tell you the um, the the match between us is a little bit lopsided with Randolph in more of the favor. So it's always good to come out here to a homestand and a lot of people out here, the soldiers out here, and just give them a, a great game, a great look, and, and a great victory for them. Now, the job's not done. You guys are 5-3, and three, but you still have work to do. You know, 
you how, how long do you kind of enjoy this one, savor it? Because I know there's there's still two more games to play, and you guys are going to need you know need probably both of those to get into the playoffs. So I know there's work still to do, right? Yes, sir. And, and the thing is, just stay healthy. You know, we we ran into the the injury bug early in the season, and, and we're down quite a few players. And now we we got a we're almost at full strength, and it's about you know taking care of their bodies, getting some rest, and being ready to come back on Monday. And all we're thinking about is Marion now. Coach, congratulations on the win. You got a heck of a ball club. Enjoy it, and I appreciate what you do for student-athletes in the state of Texas. Appreciate you. Appreciate you coming and visiting us.